Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany and if you're new here, I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, and I also create YouTube videos here on YouTube about my reselling journey and all of my essential endeavors. And in today's video, we are having another what sold. This is going over my Mercari sales from back in February of 2021. Um, because if you haven't seen my last video, my Poshmark sales, the link will be in the description below. Um, I have been working on my work life balance and something's got pushed to the back burner. Um, that being crunching my numbers at the end of every month. So I'm a little, I'm a few months behind, but it works for you guys in your favor because I did a poll. Apparently that's what everybody really enjoys watching are what sold videos. So you're kind of gonna get a little what sold marathon from February and then March. And then I will also crunch my numbers for April here soon and get that out of course after the March one. Without further ado, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into my sales overview from Mercari from back in February, 2021. Um, let me go ahead and get my screen recorder going. Okay, so let me just go ahead and jump into my overview of my sales. So in the month of February, I ended up having 34 sales on Mercari. Um, from those 34 sales, I had a cost of goods. So this was the total amount that I paid for all of the items initially that sold was $241.09. So my average per item, average per item was $7.09, which was quite high. I do like to stay around the four or $5 mark. Um, but there were some things that I picked up from local buy, sell trade stores, which I paid paid up for, but they did sell and I ended up with a higher profit. So it all works out. So across those 34 items that sold, I made a gross sales number of $752, which gave me an average selling price of $22 and 12 cents um, for those 34 items. Of course, listing on these types of platforms, there are fees because it's a service after all. Mercari charges right about, right about 13%, but it's like 12.9. Um, plus 30 cents, something like that. Anyways, it was $107.23 to sell all these items on Mercari, not too bad. So that leaves me with a take home profit of $403.68, which gives me an average profit per sale of $11.87, which I was really, really happy with. And I didn't realize I sold that much in February because I wasn't listing very much. Um, a lot of it was just relisted items. I only listed new stuff towards the end of February. So for not really doing a whole lot of work, $403, Yes, please. So I was really excited to see those numbers on Mercari. So after crunching my numbers, I picked my 10 highest, my personal highest profiting items, sales, whatever you want to call it, um, to talk about in this video, just to give you guys some ideas of what to stay on the lookout for when you're in your thrift stores or your buy, sell trade stores or whatever it may be. This hopefully could give you a little bit of an insight to things that sell well for me, um, probably sell well for other people too, let's be honest. Um, but these are some really good brands. So hopefully you guys enjoy it, um, which segueing if you do enjoy it <laughs> make sure you hit the like button because it really does help my channel so without further ado let's jump into these 10 highest sales on mercari back in february but it still counts right <laughs> all right so coming in at as my first i mean it doesn't really matter the order but my first highest profiting sale were these miss me easy skinny dark wash jeans so i picked these up at a local thrift store um for five dollars i believe no $3.19. Hmm. Even cheaper than what I thought. So I picked them up for $3.19. They ended up selling for $45. An interesting story. They sold on eBay. Somebody never paid for it. It took like a month for whatever reason to get it completely wiped. Like they had to be filed that they never paid for their item. So that way they get dinged. Anyways, it never sold there. And then I completely forgot to reactivate it on Mercari and Poshmark. So I did it a few months later. And then as soon as I did, it sold. So it sold for $45. And then after fees, I was left with a profit of $35 and 70 cents. So very, very happy with that. I was, I always remember when I was getting into reselling that Miss Me jeans were a hot ticket item to be on the lookout for, um, but I never found them, but then I did. And I was like, I might as well try them. And it worked out for me. They do, I do see that my local Goodwills, like the normal Goodwills do, 
upcharge them like $15, $20. Do not buy them at that price. I mean, I don't know. Maybe if it's a, a bigger size like this, you could potentially double your money. So it might be okay, but really, really try to obviously keep your cost of goods as low as possible. So these are Miss Me's. They were a size 32, so a bigger size. Um, they were the easy skinny. They had all this bedazzling on the booty um, and then the belt buckle branding tag thing, whatever you want to call it on the back. <laughs> Uh, I'm not always great with the naming things, but um, yeah, they were fun. They were unique, which made me want to pick them up. I saw that they were Miss Me's. They sold $45 and, and yeah, so that was a great sale. So moving on to my second highest sale were some Gymshark leggings. So these were an online sourced order from Mercari. I picked up a ton of Gymshark, well not a ton, I got like eight because I fully anticipated on these fitting me, but the smalls were too, I'm normally a small, but the smalls were too big, so I had to get extra small. So I had to completely resell everything, um, which actually worked out because I profited on everything because um, thanks to you guys, if you have signed up through Mercari using my link uh, that I have in all my descriptions, um, you get 30 bucks and then I think I get like 50 bucks after you, I think I immediately get 10 if you list something. No, when you buy something, and then it gets shipped to you. I get 10, and then if you, once you sell your first $100 worth of items, then I get $40, and then you guys get $20. I don't know, Mercari is doing it through the end of the year, so if you wanna recommend Mercari to your friends, then you get them to use your link, and um, you guys can get some credits and use them on Mercari. So I did that with this whole order, so it ended up being cheaper for me and the, I mean, granted, it was still a lot of money. My average cost of good was $25.43, but um, if it wasn't that, then it would have been much higher. It would have been like 32-ish or something like that. Regardless, 25 bucks was my cost of goods. I ended up selling them for $49. So my uh, profit on those were $16.95, which I think is pretty good for online sourcing. I originally wanted them for me. Didn't work out, so I sold them, and I sold them for a profit. 16 bucks, yes please. And they were basically brand new, I mean they are brand new. Um, they were in the packaging, so that's my picture, but I put in the stock photos. And also, PSA, don't put Gymshark stock photos on eBay, because you will get a Vero, um, basically, where Gymshark is like, hey, you don't own the rights to this, and you'll get a warning if you keep doing it, then you will get suspended and stuff. I just got a warning, but I was like, ah. I'm not gonna be doing any more stock photos on eBay. I'm actually, I don't know. Me and eBay are having a having a situation right now. I don't know. Well, we'll <laughs> it'll stay tuned for the Q&A video that I will be doing soon. So subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. But um, yeah, me and eBay, we're gonna talk about it. <laughs> but um, yeah, so if you see Gymshark, Gymshark is a big bolo brand. Um, make sure you are checking the athletic wear section in your thrift stores because there are people like me that live in activewear. Right now, I'm wearing Gymshark leggings, and this is a vintage sweater that I also got on a Mercari credit. I meant to get it for my husband, but it ended up being too small, so, well, it's not mine, <laughs> which I'm totally fine with. It's fun, it says Yellowstone Adventure Club, and we love to be outdoors and to travel, so it works out. Side note, I'm completely getting off track from what this video is about. The next highest profiting sale were Birkenstocks. No surprise there. Um, I did find these at a local buy sell trade store. Yep. Um, I did find other Birkenstocks, but those were a kid size. Sorry, I'm taking off my shoes because I'm getting comfortable. <laughs> um, these Birkenstocks were picked up at a local buy sell trade store for $17.60. They ended up selling for $44 here on Mercari. And they, um, you know, they had some wear to them. People say, like, you can definitely clean them to look better than that, but Honestly, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna spend the time cleaning them. Um, and this is just what naturally happens to the footbeds, even if you wear it like two or three times. So if something is barely worn, it still gets the toe impressions like that. So I wasn't too worried about it and people still buy it. So that's what happened here. They sold for $44. Um, after the fees, I was left with a profit of $20.42 on those. And I was so excited about that. So those are like my first like Birkenstock to sell on their own like actual like women's size so happy about those obviously stay on the lookout for some Birkenstocks that's what they look like they are a hot commodity so if you see them grab them up quick and then just like check the price later <laughs> but I think like up to like 
maybe a $10 cost of good would be fine. I mean, granted, I bought these at a buy sell trade store for 17 and I still made 20 bucks. So take from that what you will. The next highest profiting sale for me personally on Mercari was this Native American styled corduroy, this button up shirt. It was a size 4X, so a men's plus size. Um, this is my first time finding this brand. Well, I actually found two of it. The first shirt sold, um, I think back in January or December or something like that. But if you see, the moral of this story is if you see something unique, pick it up because most likely it will sell um, because people like to be unique. So Native American Tradition by Alan Waugh and it ended up selling for me for 24 bucks. I did expect to get like in the 30s for it, but it was sitting a while. Somebody sent a reasonable offer and I accepted. That's what I do. I still like to stick to my mission of providing really good deals for people while I'm also still making a reasonable deal for my time. So the cost of good on that Native American shirt was a dollar 56 sold for 24 so i was left with a profit of 19 dollars and four cents so if i can make a reasonable chunk of change for my time then a reasonable offer is usually accepted in my book the next highest profiting sale for me was this adidas trefoil camo graphic tee this was a men's i believe but i think i mean it's a graphic tee men and women can wear it um size small did I market it towards women? No, I still had it in there as men. So um, I ended up purchasing that from the Goodwill bins for $1.51 um, was my average cost of goods. It sold for 20 bucks on Mercari. So after fees, I was left with a profit of $15.61 on this Adidas graphic tee. Not too bad. The next highest profiting sale for me on Mercari was another pair of Gymshark from that big bundle like I talked about earlier. These sold for 50 bucks. Um, and of course the cost of good was $25.43, so I was left with a profit of $17.82. Very happy to see that type of profit on something that I originally bought for myself, but it didn't work out. So the next one were these Converse high top sneakers. I've never seen anything like these before, like this type of style, but I know that Converse sell well, people love them, and they were unique, so I went ahead and picked them up. I couldn't find a stock photo for the life of me. Um, I could find one other person trying to sell these, and they called them like an oyster gray, and then I just kind of, I was like, they're high top, they have like a leather tongue to them, and just try to describe them to the best of my abilities. They were at men's size 10, so a pretty good men's size. Um, I picked them up from a local thrift store for $1.56. They ended up selling for 50, so I was left with a profit on those of $41.69. So fabulous. Converse do sell really well for me on Mercari, so if you have them and they're sitting for you, try them on Mercari. They'll probably sell pretty quick. My next highest profiting sale were a pair of classic Toms. These were a women's size eight, just kind of like a weird taupey gray brown type of color. Um, they ended up selling for me for $19, but I picked them up from the bins for $1.51. So I was left with a profit of $14.74 on those. And then the next one was this Pleone. I think is how you pronounce it. It was a women's size large, just a red v-neck blouse. Really cute, sleeveless type of, um, I don't know, I would call it like a career shirt or a, a night out shirt. Um, I picked it up from the bins for $1.51, sold for $19, so I was left with a profit of $14.74. And then finally, my last highest profiting sale on Mercari for the month of February, it doesn't matter, but still, um, were these Ariat uh, leather leopard ankle booties. So these were a, a sample. So these, I don't think these were ever put into being manufactured, like to be sold like a a high quantity these were just a sample maybe they weren't picked up but i know you can buy samples and they do sell so i picked these up from a buy sell trade store i really liked them they were unique and i think that day at the buy sell trade store i got like some sort of discount but still my average cost of good was 17.60 but they did end up selling for me for 47 dollars on mercari so i was left with a profit on these bad boys of 23 dollars and four cents but the um Ariat is a really, really good brand to pick up, especially if you can get it in decent condition at a thrift store. It's just a good, like, you know, cowboy boot shoe brand. So 
Definitely pick up some Ariats if you see them, especially if the low, if the cost of good is low enough. That's a no-brainer. Pick them up, pick them up, pick them up. Um, of course, they might be easier to find in southern states rather than northern states. So, but that was my tenth and final, uh, not final sale, but the tenth sale that I was going to review for this what sold video. So, if you found this helpful in any way, please make sure you hit the like button because it is the best way to say thank you, and it really does help my channel. And make sure you leave a comment down below about maybe your favorite sale or something new that you learned and also make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so that way you are alerted when I put out my next what sold video on my eBay sales from back in February and then next week we will do March sales and all the what solds are coming your way so thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one all right bye